to do yourself. And um, the, the other point I was going to make, because it's all in the cloud now, the um, the yeah. phone shop. Yeah, stay on for life. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a subscription kind of thing, and it's a hell of a lot of money. Yeah, um, and I think that's one of the greatest things that Adobe have ever done for free software. It's <laughs> 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 kind of screw over. <laughs> even, even on the photo side of things, that if if you developing a website more and you're using GIMP, the fact that you have to export some accounts, you know what, JPEG that is really, really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, not so bad. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So yeah. So. Uh, yeah, so if you if you if you want to save your file in GIMP, you end up saving it as an XSD. Yeah, you yeah. have to export. You've got to export everything yeah, to yeah, turn yeah. it into a practical. It didn't used to be that way. They deliberately made it that way. Yeah. <laughs> and at times you sort of you make it, you forget and you go right to save. save. And then and you go, oh, oh no. <laughs> if, they, if they just rename export to save as. Yeah. And that's why we need a designer. Yeah. <laughs> at the back. <laughs> Just following up on the, this, this issue about the journey being free software. Yeah. The, the, I, I'm a web designer and uh, I tend to use Adobe Fireworks for most of my work. Yeah. Thankfully, I mean, they've just uh, basically end of life to that product. Uh, but one of the ex developers for that is actually working on an open source version of Adobe Fireworks. Really? Oh, right. So hopefully, we'll get similar tools that we have that we had before uh, with that capability. Because we, there's supposed to be a special version of uh, PNG which you use, which means all, all you know the yeah, it's yeah, sure. all the coding is the so That's the reason why I use it, because unlike uh, if I use Photoshop, I change certain things with the block. I, you know, I can't make changes afterwards, but with Fireworks, it's so easy just to you know, change uh, different colours or whatever. Uh, if I want to do an exact pixel perfect rectangle or something like that, but it's so easy in, uh, in, uh, in Firewatch, whereas yeah. Photoshop, you know, you're messing about too much. Can I, can I say how amazingly, we had no designers and now we've got three. <laughs> 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 I mean, what's, what's this all about? Yeah. My only, the only um, thing that I would sort of like to say, and it's not sort of having a go at you by the way, I just, I, I really, I get really sort of tetchy when I hear this sort of, no, we can only use Adobe. Because I think, no, you can't, there are alternatives. It may cause problems, as you, you quite rightly said, it's like, you know, mm, well, that might not, that might not just slip quite nicely into that template, thank you very much. But there, there are ways around it, so perhaps, like you say, we should find some better tools. Or, well, I mean, it sounds like there's, there's something in the works. In the works, yeah. I, I, I think designers, they don't want to prevent them, tell me if I'm speaking out of turn, but they don't, they don't want to slow down their, their work. Yeah, they, work well, they, yeah. They, they, they don't want to switch to um, a GIMP or Inkscape just based on a free software philosophy, which hackers, coders are more than happy to do. So that sounds more like there's an education thing yeah. going on there that needs to say, Yes, it isn't as good, but there's a reason it isn't as good. And we need people like yourself to, to, to use it, to improve it. And it'll only get better by people using it. Mm. Mm. I think the problem is you have to get designers to switch en masse. Because if one design company stepped out and said, right, OK, we're going to yeah. switch to free software, that means they're cutting themselves off yeah. from the rest of the design community. <laughs> yeah, and they good. can't. Work with them because they're having to send <coughs> files and then convert them and convert them back again. Well, that's about that improving the standards, isn't it? You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's about improving the standards, isn't it? That you know, you, you have to, GIMP is able to open a PSD file properly and export to a PSD file properly, so that it's essentially transparent that whether you're using it or not. That's that's what it's going to be. Um, I realise we've been going for half an hour now, so we've probably bored everyone to death. So, have <laughs> you got a new topic? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Does that mean? No? Oh, right. We're wrapping five it up. Minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You've got okay, I, uh, about five minutes. Five minutes. The, li the live show starts at four. Yeah. Uh, is that going to be on time? <laughs> <Is it, laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> <Is it, is laughs> it, it should be. For some strange reason, I did want, I did want to do a, we had a feedback email, but unfortunately, uh, it's not working. I did have one more time. Don't look at my password. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I just wanted to point out a uh, Freaky Clown's uh, badge as well. Nobody's, nobody's had a look at it. It says, uh, 
it's the little Bobby Tables thing. Yeah, Bobby Tables on his on his badge. And, it, and, it, and has your mug turned up yet? Nope. Someone has stolen it. Oh. Mate, mate, stolen it. Uh, <laughs> it is here. That's. You play the watermark. Yeah, yeah, but. Right, so I saw Bite Mark complaining about my. Uh, someone tried to hack their database and it was pointed out to them that no, it's Bobby Tables. However, Tim, you reckon that he didn't do it, but they've removed a back tick from my name. Oh, in case yeah. someone like types it into their database. Yeah, you know, if, if anybody else is reading it and kind of, as well as, you know, maybe scan it in with their phone or something, uh, it's more serious damage. So just, everybody is just for their protection, not yours. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, if anyone's seen my mug or sees it in the future, <laughs> sees it in the future. Yeah, I, will, uh, I do want it back. Five Mac have paid for it. Uh, I, I have one more suggestion, it's more philosophical. Give it sure. back for us, Fabi. <laughs> <laughs> um, last year, we were opposite uh, Philip. Um, S- Sutton Phipps. Uh, yeah, S- Simon, 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 Simon Phipps. Yeah, Phipps. Yeah. That's because he heard that what we was going to do was we were going to record across him, so he said, fuck it, I'm not going this year. We had terrible difficulties choosing this room because <laughs> there wasn't an obvious person to go opposite against. Yeah. There's no way we're going opposite him because there would just be two people in this room. Well actually, when I saw that you got that <laughs> slot, I thought, well, I feel it's you rotten. Fucking <laughs> hell. But like, I've actually, uh, from reading this Richard Stallman book, I've kind of come back around to this open source idea of actually just a synonym for free software. And not that I necessarily agree with it, because free software has far more meaning if the, even if the words don't quite match to, you know, open source doesn't quite match the meaning of free software. But open source is a more sellable idea than free software. And I can, I'm starting to see where Fitz is coming from. We're going to get another guest presenter. <laughs> <laughs> Probably do a better job of it. Um, <laughs> <I'm> more head, you know. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> so, uh, listen, it was bad enough through. Last night, <laughs> nearly ended up through through the wall. Because he's <laughs> you threw through through the wall. No, I nearly threw through through the wall. <laughs> 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 you have pizza. Yeah, yeah. He said we don't need Simon. He said, "Do you want? What was he? What you, you aligned there with the Simon Phipps? Yeah. yeah. You you two think alike. He said we we me and Simon Phipps are the same. Really? That's a hell of an insult. What an insult. <laughs> it was lucky he didn't come and talk today like that. I don't know. Like it. <laughs> yeah, like you. Um, but yeah, but I also came around to the conclusion, conclusion that the open source philosophy is entirely based around the fact that people don't understand what free software is. So in some ways, it makes the free software term more important because open source is, is a dilute version of free software, um, and the, the open source name is invented because if you're trying to talk to managers or you're trying to talk to journalism, uh, journalists, they don't understand free software because of the duality of the word free. But open source, they can understand. But what is the relevance of journalism and senior managers these days? You know, free software, open source software is, is so pervasive now, much more than it was five years ago. And journalism is, I, I would say on its way out the door, I, I call it a legacy technology. Uh, is, you know, do we need to worry about the open source brand anymore? Is it, you know, do, can we just worry about free software and get on with our lives? Is there any way still doing actual journalism? Well, exactly, yeah. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I won't. I think we'll wrap it up. I was going to say. I was going to say something along the lines of you're just regurgitating people. Saying it quietly doesn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a friend's only that. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it. I'm, uh, I'm in enough trouble. I think we'll leave it there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, do you want to do the wrap-up stuff? Yep. You... I wanted to do, uh, I did want to do a feedback email, but I can't find the thing. We've got this fantastic email system called did, Gmail. Did it go through the feedback form? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, we, we, use, we do use Gmail, and um, Gmail seems to, for some strange reason, it likes to play hide-and-seek with their feedback <laughs> emails just lately. <laughs> like, uh, yes, it does. It's on my machine at home, because I thought, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll 
read that one out at odd cam, but I, for some strange reason I can't find it on yeah. this one. It has started dropping our, some of our feedbacks into the spam folder, yeah. which is probably a problem. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> What did it say? Anyway? I can't remember. <laughs> it was crazy, but it was really <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His Gmail went, that can't be right. It, must be <laughs> yeah, it was crazy, this up, which is why I was going to bring it. I thought, oh, this would be really good. Oh, like, uh, it makes a change. Uh, no. No, no Fab doesn't listen anymore, does he? No. No, I don't. Fab no. doesn't want anybody more popular than him. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. You're trying to get me to start. No, I'm not. You are. You're just a troublemaker. He is a troublemaker. He's a page troublemaker. It's a job title. Yeah. Freaky Clown, the troublemaker. Freaky Clown, the troublemaker. <laughs> so, uh, we've got no room X1101 because nobody sent anything in. <laughs> oh, actually, one thing about the feedback form, it does now respond to you. Yes, it does. Uh, or it should now respond to you. I have made that adjustment. It was, it was a problem with uh, my old friend uh, Drupal. That uh, it had a it has a box in there that says auto response and no context, no help around it whatsoever. So I stuck something in there, and so if you send an email through that feedback form now, it will now call you a git. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if it works. So. Um, well, uh, been a good live show for us, I suppose. Nice and short. I like nice that. Nice and short. We like short. Yeah. Not that long one. Sure. Should we say thank you, Doc? Oh, no, absolutely. So thank you to all camp um, and yeah. the organisers. No. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh, well, most of them. Yeah, and some of them. <laughs> John's no. still here. Is Johnny, Johnny here? In that case, no, we're not saying thank you. Well, no, I wasn't no. planning to anyway. I just yeah. wanted to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. Yeah, big, big thanks to all Cam. Thanks for having us. Thank you for coming. Thanks for yeah, coming. Thank yeah, it's probably the biggest audience we've ever had. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure people are here by mistake. Like. Yeah, I'm sure, they <laughs> I'm sure they thought this was some sort of Alcoholics Anonymous meeting or something. Like, yeah, so. There's something on about programming Minecraft and Python. I don't know why you're not there. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's boring. Uh, <laughs> that was earlier. I'm not quite sure what happened there. <laughs> yeah, it was earlier. Yeah, because yeah, I was in it and I'm not in it now. So. <laughs> <laughs> My powers of deduction. <laughs> <laughs> I can be a policeman at this one. Your favourite kind of people. Yeah. All that leaves for me to say is thank you very much for listening to the Dick Turpin Roadshow. And it's goodbye from him. It's goodbye from him. It's goodbye from me. Goodbye. 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 Yay! Yay.